your First Alert 5 weather with Jeff Matthews. Welcome back, and I hope you're having a fantastic Easter Sunday afternoon and uh, not too much action on the slopes in Monarch today. Season's getting uh, close to winding down and a quiet but fairly bright late afternoon in Cripple Creek. You can see some shadows going on there, so the sun is breaking through at some point. Meanwhile, the tan shaded counties, which is basically east of El Paso and north, is for a high wind warning for tomorrow. Winds in excess of 40 miles an hour frequently throughout the day. So, for example, Kit Carson and Cheyenne counties, be aware, high winds tomorrow. For the red shaded counties, El Paso, Teller South and Southeast, it's a red flag warning because all the criteria matches to merit the possibility of any spark erupting into flames. So please be aware of that and put off any burning that you might consider doing tomorrow for another day. Meanwhile, the trend of the clouds is the most important thing here. They are pushing towards the south and east, more east than south, so it'll take longer to clear out for, let's say, well, La Junta or Walsenburg or Pueblo than it is right now in the Springs or in Monument or Divide. But the clearing is coming in in the wake of a system that passed through last night and early this morning, shaved back those temperatures you might have noticed this morning and early afternoon, and also left us with a lot of low clouds that are still to clear completely out. But the big story is that area of high pressure. Two things. It's going to force the jet stream way up to our north tomorrow, and it's going to tap into some real warm air south of Albuquerque coming our way. So as it moves across the region tomorrow morning and afternoon, the winds pick up, the temps pick up. It's going to be bright and warm all day again with elevated fire danger. Here are the current readings. The important thing to note is how this time east of the divide, we're stuck in the 40s. Salida 64, Alamosa 62, a portender of things to come. That's where it'll be warmest overnight tonight, to the west and to the south. For tomorrow, it all works its way eastwards. Look at that, that's crazy. 82, La Junta, 82 in Lamar, 80 in Springfield. You might get there, Pueblo. I think 75 is about as high as we get in the springs. Winds right now, not too busy, mostly single digits, a few low double digits. But as you notice over the divide, the winds definitely pick up. So we fast forwarded tomorrow morning around sunrise, and they're still in the 10 to 15 mile per hour range west of the divide, but watch it translate eastwards and get into the mid 20s with gusts over 35, maybe even over 40 miles per hour. So it's gonna be an amazing day tomorrow but be aware of the fire danger. 75 with breezy winds in the afternoon. Now I didn't put it here, but tomorrow night a shower is fairly likely for the springs. It'll clear out by Tuesday morning dawn and dump the temps way down. 20 to 25 degrees colder for Tuesday. We begin to ratchet it back up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There is really no rain further in the forecast until maybe next Sunday, maybe. Pueblo, 79 tomorrow. Windy and in the afternoon, a slight chance for an overnight shower. It's already bright by Tuesday morning sunrise, but the temps have dumped back into the upper 50s for highs. We recover again for Wednesday and Thursday and probably no further rain in sight. Canyon City, upper 70s tomorrow. Probably rain free tomorrow night, bright through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but the pick of the litter is tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday. And for, Can or for Woodland Park, rather, nice day tomorrow. Shower tomorrow night, way colder on Tuesday, and then we warm it back up again Wednesday and Thursday. A check of your traffic. And as you can see, the spring's looking good right now. However, to the north on I-25, I happen to have picked up some slow going traffic up towards Northgate, so just be aware of that. If you're headed northwards or you know someone who is headed northwards, it's going to take a little longer as they pass through uh, Briar Gate and up towards Monument for the next hour or two, I would assume. I don't know what the issue is, but it's a definite slowdown in traffic. But we've got an incredible day for tomorrow, so get out and enjoy. Just be aware of the fire danger. All right. Thank you, Jeff.